Now, it is, Virginia is, we are the center of gravity for this election in 36 days. We have a, a state to turn over for president. We have a, a man running for United States Senate that can flip the Senate. I got to meet Mitt Romney the other day. We had a veterans event uh, last Thursday. It was a small event. He wanted to meet with veterans in Springfield. How many veterans do I have in here? Thank you all very much. And I was going to bring out Bill Keel uh, from World War II, Hi. one of the greatest generations. Right? chance to just uh, spend about a minute with Governor Romney, told him a little bit about the race, and uh, he said, go get him, and you know what he said? I'm praying for you. <laughs> and I said, we're praying for you and Ann too, and, uh, and that, I think that is, uh, the power of prayer is very important, and we need to continue to do that, and uh, because he said, he kept saying, if I get elected president, and then he stopped himself and said, when I'm elected president, and, and then went on to talk. And, and that's where we are with that and with the United States Senate. My job, my job's easy. I just have to kick out the most entrenched, <laughs> angry, hyper-partisan, liberal member of the United States Congress with an anger management problem <laughs> named Jim Moran. So I want to give you a little sit rep on what we've been doing because we have made this race about Jim Moran and, and rightfully so because we've done some polling and it's no secret to anybody this is a liberal district. It's an uphill fight. And let me just point out two people real quick before I go on. I don't know if, uh, uh, if Frank Fanner, Frank are you still here? Councilman Frank Fanner was here earlier, but we also have retired General Bob Wood, who's running for city council here in Alexandria, Bob. And his wife Margaret with him as well. So 